So hello, everybody. Um, this is about proofs of work for blockchain protocols. Oh, no, 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 wait. So my name is Juan Garay. I'm in the process of moving to Texas A&M. And this is John work with Agros Kiayas and Yorgos Panajotakos. So I mentioned I'm moving to Texas. <laughs> and it turns out that Yorgos is from Sparta, in case you didn't know. So don't mess with us, except, except that Agelos is originally from Athens, where all the you know, artists, philosophers, sculptors are. But that, that's OK. All right, so we are talking about proofs of work. It's a very powerful notion introduced by Dwork Naor a while back. And it's been also called moderately hard functions, cryptographic puzzles. And it can be formalized as a predicate, two argument, two or more argument predicate, one of which is the useful stuff. Oh, come on. OK, there's a useful stuff that you would like to prove something about. And the second one is a you know, witness, which typically would take a long time to find. OK, so this search is, uh, takes a long time. It's an exhaustive search, for example. And verification is easy. So that's an abstract uh, view of proofs of work. And it turns out that it's been used in the original formulation by, um, you know, for spam mitigation. Uh, there is also an important formulation, f again, for, uh, um, again, civil attacks. And that's uh, civil up there. And this is important in my, uh, from my point of view because this is one of the first, this is pre-Bitcoin, one of the first solutions that suggested to use proofs of work to tame the computational power of the adversary. Okay, and some other applications, but arguably the most in impactful current application is in the design of blockchain protocols such as Bitcoin, also abstractly represented like this, where the proof of work is a tool to chain you know, blocks. And here you have a condensed history, some new stuff, some witness, and you have to hash all this to make it smaller than some target difficulty value. Okay, and in Bitcoin, this works something like this. All right, so as it was mentioned by Christian before, this is a fundamental tool in what is called permissionless uh, blockchain protocols. And the intuition is that this uh, tool, you know, slows down everybody, gives a chance to everybody to, you know, install useful stuff in the ledger, in the blockchain. Okay. This has been formalized, uh, this, this has been analyzed by a few uh, works, except that the proofs were done in the, you know, random oracle model in a direct way. What we do in this work is formulate this PAL primitive that implies, you know, the security of Bitcoin in the standard model. And this is a little bit of uh, too much, but essentially we have, you know, in, in some sense, this primitive resembles a non-interactive proof system and also a signature. And you have some a prover and a, a proof and a verify algorithm. Notice that the prover works on a message, the stuff you want to prove something about, and some randomness, some key. Okay, and you you have the expected properties that you may have, like completeness and T verifiability, meaning that can be verified in short in a short time. But these other mouthful properties have to do with, um, okay, amortization resistance, meaning that you have a bunch of uh, proofs that should not help the adversary to produce proofs faster. And also, what you need for blockchains is some rate of success by honest parties. I'm done, uh, All right, so we do that, and then we show that Bitcoin's implementation, you know, uh, realizes this uh, definition. And we show another, you know, the Bitcoin backbone protocol, the security reduces to power. And this is in the e-print. Thanks. 